How would you like to have a 25-12-3 record? Well, if you've been following the Power 5 here on Wager Talk TV, 25-12-3 would be your record the last nine days. Now, I was just 2-2 two and two yesterday with one no action due to a pitching change, but I've got five more free winners for you in MLB on Wednesday. Let's get right into them. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on these selections. Number one, Cleveland Guardians, minus 133 on the money line versus the Kansas City Royals. This is going to be a 3% client play that you are getting for free here on the Power 5. Furthermore, I'm going to be at the game, which is in the afternoon, 110 Eastern, a little day baseball for yours truly. Now, normally when I go to games, as you know, I'm betting the under. Not here. I talk about it all the time. Very rare to see a road team sweep a four-game series. And I don't see it happening here. That's the prospect the Guardians are facing in what is a huge series in the AL Central. Kansas City now uh, in first place. But despite what's happened over the last two days, remember the Royals swept the doubleheader on Monday, there is no denying the fact that KC's offensive production dips on the road compared to at home. They dropped from 3rd to 13th in scoring, 2nd to 12th in batting average, 19th to 29th in walk rate. Guardians still have the lowest bullpen ERA in baseball by a comfortable margin. Royals bullpen, meanwhile, seventh worst ERA, and they were called into duty early last night when starter Michael Lorenzen had to leave with an injury. You look at the starting pitching matchup here, yes, the Royals have won each of Michael Waka's last five starts, but when Tanner Bybee is on the mound, Cleveland is 18-7 and this year. Bybee's 4-0 in day games with a .85 whip as well. The team has lost Bybee's last two starts, but guess what? They have not lost three consecutive Bybee starts all year. Guardians avoid the sweep, and hopefully I have a good time down at Progressive Field. By the way, if you've been having a good time uh, here, smash that like button and stay tuned to find out how you can get a free week of plays. I'll have more info on that coming up in just a bit. But first, back to the Power 5. Number 2. Astros' first five money line versus the Phillies. This is around minus 120. Uh, that's the price I saw at FanDuel here a few minutes before we hit record. It's been a tough series for me so far. I lost a 4% play on the over Monday. I tried again with the over last night uh, on the Power 5. You caught that play if you saw yesterday's show. That came up short as well. The Astros didn't score a run. So I say to hell with the over. Let's try a side. I do believe that after scoring just two runs in the first two games of the series, they were shut out yesterday. The Astros are destined to put up some runs this evening. Reason I'm playing them first five is this is a straight fade of Philly starter Taiwan Walker, who has just been reprehensible in 2024. Get this. The Phillies have not won a game that Walker has started since May. Walker came back from injury earlier this month. The team has lost to the Marlins, Nationals, and Royals with him on the mound. 9.26 ERA with five home runs allowed in those three starts. Last time out, he gave up six runs in three innings. Meanwhile, Astros starter Spencer Arigetti, I've talked about him on the program before. I like him. He just tossed six shutout innings in Baltimore his last time out. He has 44 strikeouts in a 2.93 ERA his last five starts. So the Astros should dominate early. I like him first five money line against the Phillies. Another time team I like in the first five innings for Wednesday would be the Braves. They're looking for a three-game sweep of the Twins. Chris Sale on the mound, so you got to like their chances. And by playing the first five run line, which of course we mean we have to lay the half run, we can get Sale the Braves at even money. And I like the price there, given how this team is playing. 18 runs scored in the first two games here in Minnesota for Atlanta. Sale, he's been as good as ever recently. You know that. 1.80 ERA his last three starts. The team is 3-0 and in that stretch. Just a really good price to bet on the presumptive NL Cy Young winner, in my opinion. Again, that's Braves' first five run line minus a half. By the way, again, if you've been enjoying all these free winners I've been giving out, or you just want to show support for the show, go ahead and smash that like button. Here's another one for you. Padres, Cardinals, under eight and a half. Nice to see that San Diego, who I've previously touted as a legit World Series contender, uh, has taken the first two games from this fraud Cardinals club. Uh, the Cardinals' year-to-date run differential now down, uh, back down to minus 61. Speaking of runs, I don't think we're going to see a lot of them in this game. Uh, Joe Musgrove, he has been outstanding for the Padres since coming back from the IL. How about a .57 ERA and a .57 whip? Just one run and six hits allowed in 15 and two-thirds innings. St. Louis starter Andre Palante 
surprisingly has the best ground ball rate in all of baseball. Wow, didn't know that until I did my research for this game. Uh, both these bullpens, especially San Diego's, are good. I think this shapes up to be a pitcher's duel in Bush Stadium. So under eight and a half is how I'd play that one. And guys, before we get to our final free winner for today, I want to let you know, I talked about it yesterday, going to let you know about it again here. Uh, brand new special offer we got going on at wagertalk.com. You can get a free week of winners for a limited time. We are offering a 14-day all-access pass, NFL and college, for just $198. And when you buy that, you get a third week free of charge. So you get every football play, every baseball play, every soccer play from myself for the next three weeks for the normal cost of two weeks. As a reminder, I ended the college football season last year on a red-hot 19-8 run, had Michigan as a 5% play against Alabama in the Rose Bowl, Bet the Wolverines again against Washington in the national championship game, and they rolled them. In the NFL, not only did I sweep my Super Bowl selections, but I started the 2023 season with a 3-0 Sunday sweep in week one. So head on over to wt.buzz slash bp to get your free week of winners. No coupon code is needed, by the way. Uh, just click the deals tab. Not only do you get the football winners, like I said, but soccer and MLB as well. Speaking of MLB, our final play for the Power 5 today is over 11 Marlins Rockies. This was a winning bet on the Power 5 yesterday. Teams ended up combining for 17 runs. Rockies blew an early 6-0 lead, though. However, uh, not good for them. Marlins win 9-8. However, I think the Rockies are the side likely to win here. Kyle Freeland on the mound. Freeland, he did give up five runs his last time out, uh, though. Uh, when he, and that was his last time, last time he started at Coors Field, I should say. I know he's been pretty good here most of the season, uh, but you have to remember, guys, even though Freeland's been pretty good here this season, worst bullpen in all of baseball follows him. We saw it bet on display last night when they uh, gave up all the runs late to Miami. But the Rockies should have no issue scoring tonight. Max Meyer starting for Miami, 7.46 ERA in August. That's not good. So for a second consecutive day, over 11 it is in Marlins Rockies. Let's now recap the Power Five, shall we? Our first play, and it is a client play, a 3% client play. Cleveland Guardians on the money line, minus 133 versus the Kansas City Royals. I'll be there. Number two, Astros, first five money line, round minus 120 against the Phillies. Number three, Braves, first five run line, lay the half run against the Twins. Number four, Padres Cardinals, under eight and a half. Number five, Marlins Rockies, over 11. You can let me know. What you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, feel free to drop your favorite bets in Major League Baseball uh, for this fine Wednesday. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, do so now. Click that bell. You'll get instant alerts when your favorite shows drop. Speaking of your favorite shows, not only am I doing the Power 5 daily, I'm going to start working some more football content in starting tomorrow. Uh, you also can't forget about the morning wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. And I think that does it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And the play on Cleveland I gave out for you is once again a free client play, 3% play. My 4% best bet is already up on my page, wt.buzz slash bp. You can find me on Twitter at Brian Power underscore wins. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.